As we approach July 17, 2024, the photography world is buzzing with anticipation for Canon's upcoming announcement event. While enjoying a mountain bike ride in the cooler climate of the Spring Mountains near Las Vegas, let's delve into the details of what we can expect from this event, focusing on two highly anticipated cameras, the Canon EOS R1 and the EOS R5 Mark II. Canon recently released a sneak peek video across their social media platforms, confirming the date and time of the event. However, the video doesn't reveal any specific details about the products to be announced. This brings us to an important point of reflection on past predictions. Previously, there were widespread expectations, including my own, that Canon would announce the R5 Mark II and provide a development announcement for the R1 in mid-May. While the R1 development announcement did occur as predicted, information about the R5 Mark II has been notably absent. This discrepancy could be due to various factors, such as changes in Canon's plans, reactions to social media speculation, or unforeseen development challenges. As a content creator, it's crucial to acknowledge when predictions don't materialize as expected, and I apologize for any confusion this may have caused. The development announcement for the EOS R1 earlier this year generated significant excitement in the photography community. As we approach the July 17th event, we expect to see a full announcement of this flagship camera. While the R1 has been in the hands of Canon ambassadors, it hasn't yet reached retail or distribution channels. The commercial availability is still anticipated for late 2024, with the camera likely to make its debut at the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. One of the most intriguing rumors surrounding the R1 is the potential inclusion of a dual-gain sensor. This technology, previously seen in video-focused products, could be making its way into a stills-focused camera for the first time. A dual-gain sensor operates by applying different levels of power, gain, to the sensor, resulting in varying levels of sensitivity. This process alternates rapidly, allowing the sensor to capture a wider range of light intensities effectively. If implemented in the R1, this technology could significantly enhance the camera's dynamic range and low-light performance. However, it's important to note that integrating this technology into a high-speed stills camera presents unique challenges, and we'll have to wait for the official announcement to confirm its inclusion. To recap some of the previously reported specifications for the R1, we're looking at a 30 megapixel sensor, burst rates of 40 and 60 frames per second, and dual CF Express type B card slots. These specs position the R1 as a powerhouse for both sports and wildlife photography, where speed and buffer capacity are crucial. Moving on to the EOS R5 Mark II, we've seen more concrete information emerge as the camera has made its way into the distribution chain. Retailers have had the opportunity to see and be briefed on the camera, giving us a clearer picture of what to expect. The R5 Mark II is expected to feature a 45-megapixel stacked BSI, backside illuminated, sensor. Canon is likely to market this sensor as capable of up to 16 stops of dynamic range, though real-world performance may vary. This represents a significant improvement over its predecessor and should provide photographers with greater flexibility in high-contrast situations. An improved pixel shift mode is also anticipated, likely stemming from advancements in the camera's in-body image stabilization IBIS, system. This feature allows for the creation of ultra-high resolution images by combining multiple shots, which could be a game-changer for landscape and studio photographers. The R5 Mark II is set to maintain the impressive burst rates of its predecessor, 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter and 30 frames per second with the electronic shutter. The electronic shutter is rumored to be capable of speeds up to 1 16,000th of a second, providing incredible flexibility for freezing fast action or shooting in bright conditions.
Canon is expected to introduce significant improvements to the autofocus system, including enhanced AI-driven tracking algorithms. These advancements should allow for better subject detection and tracking, even in crowded or complex scenes. The inclusion of eye-controlled autofocus, a feature borrowed from the EOS R3, has now been confirmed, adding another layer of intuitive control for photographers. A newly designed electronic viewfinder, EVF, is also on the cards, which should provide a clearer, more responsive viewing experience. This improvement aligns well with the enhanced IBIS system and could contribute to a more effective pixel shift mode. The A5 Mark II is set to push the boundaries of video capabilities in hybrid cameras. It's expected to offer 8K video recording at up to 60 frames per second, with some potential limitations, and support for the 12-bit Canon RAW light format. The inclusion of a full-size HDMI port is a significant improvement over the current R5, addressing a common criticism of the original model. This should make the camera more appealing to videographers who require external recording or monitoring solutions. Addressing one of the main criticisms of the original R5, Canon appears to be taking thermal management seriously in the Mark II. The camera will feature two passive cooling vents, which can work in conjunction with an optional cooling grip for active temperature control. This setup should allow for extended video recording times without overheating issues. There are also rumors of improved battery performance, though specific details are not yet available. The R5 Mark II will feature CF Express B and SD UHSII card slots, USB 4 connectivity, and potentially illuminated buttons for easier operation in low light conditions. Canon is also rumored to be developing its own USB 4 card reader and a wireless microphone system, similar to Sony's offering. This move into the accessory market could provide Canon users with more integrated solutions for their workflow. While not officially confirmed, the EOS R5 Mark II is expected to be priced at around $3,999, positioning it as a premium offering in Canon's mirrorless lineup. The camera is likely to start shipping in August 2024, though exact dates have not been communicated to retailers yet. The upcoming Canon announcement on July 17, 2024, promises to be an exciting event for photography enthusiasts and professionals alike. The EOS R1 and R5 Mark II represent Canon's continued commitment to pushing the boundaries of digital imaging technology. The R1, with its potential dual-gain sensor and high-speed capabilities, looks set to redefine what's possible in sports and wildlife photography. Meanwhile, the R5 Mark II appears to be a thoughtful evolution of its predecessor, addressing key criticisms while introducing new features that should appeal to a wide range of photographers and videographers. As we await the official announcement, it's important to remember that while rumors and leaks can provide exciting insights, they should always be taken with a grain of salt until confirmed by Canon. The photography industry is constantly evolving, and manufacturers often make last-minute changes based on market conditions, technological breakthroughs, or competitive pressures. In the coming weeks, we can expect to see more details emerge about these cameras, as well as potential information about new lenses or accessories that might be announced alongside them. The integration of advanced AI technologies, improvements in sensor design, and the push towards more versatile hybrid shooting capabilities all point to an exciting future for digital imaging. As always, the true test of these new cameras will come when they're in the hands of photographers and videographers in real-world situations. Until then, we can only speculate and eagerly await Canon's official unveiling on July 17. Stay tuned for comprehensive coverage of the announcement event, where we'll break down all the official details and provide insights into what these new products mean for the photography and videography communities.